Do you know that you are wonderfully made? Today's first reading from the book of Genesis reminds us that each one of us is individually molded by God. He made us male and female. Most of us are called to leave our parents and become one body with a spouse in the sacrament of marriage. When in the Gospel some Pharisees approached Jesus and asked, Is it against the law for a man to divorce his wife? He told them that from the beginning of creation God made them male and female. This is why a man must leave father and mother and the two become one body. They are no longer two, therefore, but one body. So that what God has united, men must not divide. When the Pharisees told him that it was Moses who allowed them to divorce, he answered, It was because you were so unteachable that he wrote this commandment for you. Jesus came back to God's original idea about the indissolubility of marriage. He knew that a mutual faithfulness of husband and wife would bring many blessings to their lives. A lifelong commitment of a married couple brings stability to their children as well. Parents are called to be responsible for nurturing their home community. Personally, I think only families that build on the rock foundation of the Lord's teaching can maintain an authentic unity and love no matter the circumstances. Husbands and wives who listen to Jesus' message will find true happiness and strength to overcome any obstacles. Not only that, they will be capable to bring God's presence and peace to their sons and daughters. Also, in today's Gospel, Christ said, Let the little children come to me. Do not stop them for it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Then he gave them his blessing. We know the reality of today's world. We know the mentality of many parents who don't allow their children to come to church so that Jesus could bless them with his sacramental presence. There are different reasons for that. One of them is Parents themselves don't have a personal relationship with him. Therefore, they don't see a great value in worshipping God in a parish community. It is true, they might feel part of it through an involvement in the Catholic school, but in reality they are often disconnected from the sacraments and maybe don't even pray at home. If you are a parent, I would like to thank you for all your sacrifices in raising your sons and daughters. No matter what you think about having faith in God, allow your children to grow in His grace. Please bring them to church at least once a week on Sunday. Explain to them what can be found in the church building. Tell them about the tabernacle and the lives of the saints whose statues they can see. Create a healthy domestic church. Have a Bible in your home, a crucifix, and a statue of Our Lady. Teach your children basic prayers like Our Father, Hail Mary, Glory Be. Don't assume that the school will do it for you. Find time to pray the rosary with your children. Say a grace before a meal. These are simple actions that build faith. Dear friends, if we want to be saved, we need to change our mentality and become like little children. The Lord is very clear when he says, I tell you solemnly, anyone who does not welcome the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. Dear parents, I pray that you will become like little children. Try to be simple in your faith and accept with trust Jesus' teaching. Be open to the Holy Spirit. By His strength, you will be able to nurture your children not only with food placed before them on the table, but, above all, with God's grace and the bread of life, Jesus. 
is the only bread that can truly satisfy and lead us into the eternal banquet of heaven.